Hello everyone, welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. Today we have the 4K Steelbook for The Terminator. I will be giving away the digital copy. If you'd like to win it, just follow the instructions on the screen. And long awaited, the first Terminator on 4K. Very, very cool. Um, it's about time. Um, I got mine a little late, unfortunately. Um, but I have been hearing very great things about this transfer. Uh, of course, uh, the infamous transfer of Terminator 2, <laughs> a lot of people don't like, and I totally get it. Um, people are saying this one is a much better transfer. It's, um, they kept a lot of the grain and whatnot in the movie, because I know uh, James Cameron, he oversees all of his uh, movies when they get a 4K um, remaster. And he likes to do this thing where he makes everything look very smooth, um, <laughs> and it doesn't translate well. Um, but this one, I heard they kept a lot of the grain and whatnot, and it looks really cool. So I'm very happy about that. Um, now, the first Terminator, I kind of have a weird relationship with this movie. Like, I've never disliked it at all. You know, I think it is a great movie. I've just never watched it a lot. I've seen the second movie seven billion times. Um, but the first Terminator, I've maybe only watched, like, five or six times in my whole life. Like, I, I, I really mean it when I say that. Like, I haven't watched it a lot of times. Um, I respect it, you know, it's iconic, um, it's just, the sequel is, you know, <laughs> a masterpiece, so, um, I guess you could call this a masterpiece, you know, for what it did, um, you know, established James Cameron, obviously, it, uh, set off an iconic franchise and an iconic character, um, but it is very 80s, it is a very, uh, cheesy movie, you know, in certain parts, but it is very well done for being, you know, a lower budget and, um, you know, it wasn't James Cameron's first movie, technically. You know, he made Piranha 2, <laughs> which is not a good movie, I'm guessing, because um, he disowns it. But, yeah, um, it's very, very admirable, like, the movie they made, you know, um, Stan Winston's effects and whatnot. Um, I believe Stan Winston worked on the first one, right? Um, I know he worked on the second one. So, very cool. Um, here you got Kyle Reese and uh, Sarah Connor, of course. And I like this design. It's like... You can see, like, the alleyway right here going up the neck of the Terminator. And I assume, yeah, that's Arnold right there. So, and, oh, I should mention, too, it really <laughs> made Arnold Schwarzenegger a star as well. So, yeah, it did a lot, you know? So, the Terminator. Now, I feel like the rights for Terminator is kind of weird. Like, Warner Brothers is releasing this. Um, it's an MGM movie, I guess, whatever. Um, originally, I don't think it was. I'm not really sure. Like, I know the newer Terminator movies were done by uh, Paramount, um, so I don't know. The Terminator rights are all over the place. You know, Lionsgate released the, this steelbook. I don't know. <laughs> so, a Pacific Western production. So, yeah, very, very cool. There's the credits. Orion Pictures. So, and then there's um, Arnold right there. Very, very cool. So, really love the design, love the colors. It's a very nice-looking steelbook. It is a matte finish. Um, it's not, it doesn't feel cheap, but it also doesn't feel, you know, <laughs> it doesn't feel expensive either. Um, but it's not bad by any means, so. But I love the artwork, though. It's really cool. It's very, uh, a lot of details there in the uh, T-800. So, really, really cool. And the first Terminator, of course, is more of a horror movie, whereas the second one is, you know, an action film. The action film, in my opinion. The greatest action film ever made, T-2. Um, so, but very cool. The 4K disc, you get some nice, you know, skeletal, uh, or the skull, I should say, of the uh, T-800 right there on the disc. That's fine. Um, and then the back of the digital is blank. And on the inside, you get a classic photo there of Arnold right there <laughs> with his, uh, Uzi 9mm. <laughs> very cool. I didn't realize this is only a 4K disc. That's it. Wow. I, I guess I didn't pay attention. So you only get one disc. I was figuring there'd be a Blu-ray in here. So I'm assuming there's going to be a new Blu-ray also. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give this Steelbook a 10 out of 10. I think it's beautiful. Whoever worked on this artwork is um, very talented. So, uh, But that's it. That's Terminator 1. Um, nowhere near as good as T2. I'm going to say that till the day I die. But yeah, <laughs> still a good movie. Very groundbreaking. Um, let me know what you thought of the transfer and how you'd rate all the Terminator movies. Obviously, these are the only two that matter. Um, so, yeah, that's really about it. Um, I didn't go over the features too much. Let me see if there's anything new here. Um, let's see if I get my camera to focus. Creating the Terminator. 
Yeah, I'm trying to remember if any of these features were on older releases, but yeah, I don't know. So there's the uh, summary of the movie or whatever. So, And you do get Dolby Vision and Atmos, so again, I'm sure it's going to look really nice. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching this, and uh, like I said, let me know your ranking of all the films in the comments. And does anybody actually prefer Terminator 1 over 2? I'd like to see your argument for that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.